Buffy Swag, and I'm coming to you with a review of Kill a Kill episode 12, Spit Your Sadness Away. It's an interesting name for this episode. But anyways, um, pretty much this one picks up where the last one left off at, where she was fighting Harame. Harame? Anyways. So it's when she's fighting, well she's still fighting Harame, and pretty much she, like they show her pluck the banshee life fiber from Sanagayama and pretty much just like strip him without even having to fight him which really hurt his heart he was a little butt hurt about that one but so he went flying and then she started talking to well she pulled out the other half of the scissor blade and Ryuko pretty much just went insane like I really don't blame her because she pretty much said that she was the one who killed her father. So Ryuko was trying to talk to Harame and Harame was pretty much like dancing around the subject and she is really creepy anyways. But while they were like, while she, Ryuko was trying to get answers and Harame was pretty much just like bouncing around acting all bubbly and shit, she tried to pull a banshee fiber from Ryuko's Senketsu and he like freaked out a little bit and then it stopped and then that's when Harme figured out that there is more than one banshee fiber in her Senketsu because Senketsu is a hundred percent life fibers as opposed to like the Goku uniforms which is only a minuscule <laughs> percent of life fibers so she so she pretty much had to change up her strategy about how she was going to try to pretty much take Senketsu off of her because she said she couldn't wait to see her naked but <laughs> anyways she said she couldn't wait to see her naked so while all this was happening the more Ryuko talked to her the madder she got and she pretty much just like her blood was boiling so much that Senketsu lost control and pretty much consumed her and she looked <sighs> she looked I don't even know how to explain how she looked <laughs> but then she just started going crazy and was fighting um, Harame and then Gamagori and Sanagiyama and the other two in the Elite Four were talking to Mako and Gamagori pretty much said that she was going to bleed out and she kept up the way she was going and Mako the quote of the year is when people die from bleeding out they die Really, Mako? Really? Really? That's what we do now? Anyway, she said, when people bleed out, like, when people die from bleeding out, they die. And Gamagori was pretty much like, well, that goes without saying. But Mako, like, darted onto the field. And, of course, Sasuke, Sasuke came up and she activated her Junketsu. And she was pretty much like, I need to stop this, because if Ryuko didn't stop, nobody was going to be able to stop her. And so, Satsuki was trying to fight um, Ryuko while Mako was coming at her. And Mako pretty much, like, the way Mako did it, she started explaining, like, Ryuko was the only one who could stop her when she was overwhelmed with power. And Ryuko pretty much let her wail on her until she understood that she couldn't do this anymore so Mako just started <laughs> Mako started wailing on her face and she just kept like palm thrusting her face <laughs> and tell me why tell me why the sound was hilarious oh my gosh I was rolling from like I think it's 17 40 to 18 minutes is just like a span of Mako like palm smacking <laughs> Ryuko it is hilarious oh my god anyways and also in this episode they explain how Ryuko's dad died because previously when they showed her finding her dad like dead with the scissor well almost dead with the scissor coming out of his his abdomen she didn't really know what happened and then she saw somebody like 
running away when she went outside to figure out who it was. And pretty much Harme explained to her that she had went to the house to pretty much figure out what her dad, Dr. Matale, was researching and everything. And he pretty much deluded her by showing her the rending scissors, which is the scissors that Ryuko has one half of and Harme has the other half of, which ceases all activity in life fibers. But he used this as a diversion so she wouldn't find out about Senketsu, which would have been catastrophic if Harme found Senketsu, which is why Dr. Matoi did that, and that was why Ryuko found it. <sighs> but other than that, like, after Mako, like, palm smacked the crap out of her for a good minute and a half, she finally stopped. Like, Ryuko finally went back to normal, and Mako, <sighs> Mako has the most hilarious cry I have ever seen in my life. But anyway, she was crying and everything, and Ryuko was pretty much like, okay, after that. And then, um, Satsuki pretty much knew Mako's name and said that it was because of her that Ryuko was okay. Which made Mako's day that she, Lady Satsuki, Satsuki knew her name, <laughs> which I thought was funny. But anyways, that was pretty much like the end of the episode was after that. Well... Satsuki pretty much told Harme that she is pretty much never to come back to the school and she has nothing else to do with her business, like dealing with Ryuko and Senketsu. And Harme was like, okay, okay, blah, blah, blah. And then at the end of the episode, they show her, like, wink, which pretty much means that we're going to see her again. I'm almost positive we're going to see her again. But anyway, that was pretty much it. But if you watch past the credits... And go all the way to the end, they show a part where um, Satsuki is rebuilding the academy. And Ryuko comes up and Satsuki is pretty much like, oh, I see you're feeling better, blah, blah, blah. And Ryuko is asking her the same questions that she had originally asked Harme. And Ryuko told her that if, any, if she needed to be mad at anybody, she needed to be mad at her, at Satsuki. Because she was the reason why Harme went there and killed her dad and was trying to find out the information about the scissors and why she has the scissors and blah, blah, blah. And then she pretty much said that from them fighting, she got all the information that she needed to fix the Goku uniform so that way they're going to be pretty much indestructible. And she's going to go and defeat all the other academies so that way she could pretty much be the best. And then that was the end of the episode. But yeah, this episode was pretty freaking awesome and hilarious at the same time. I don't know how that works. But yeah, so that was pretty much the end. Um, I would love to hear what y'all think is going to happen in the next episode or what's going to happen in the next few episodes because the next one isn't coming out for another 19 days, which is ridiculous. But yeah, so as always... Please, please, please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And this is Subaki Swag saying adios.